Hello and welcome back to HRD Live, where I'm joined by Stephen Robertson, CEO of the Big Issue Foundation. Stephen, thank you for joining us. My pleasure. Good to be here. Wonderful. So, for the people who can't be here, yep. what are you going to be sharing on stage here at the summit tonight? Um, I'm going to be sharing some insight into the unusual business model that is the Big Issue uh, magazine. Okay. Um, going to be talking a little bit about how that works, where it came from, particularly about the sense of mission and purpose, and then how people who are interested in organizations can take some of those learnings and some of those experiences forward to engage with their employees and their own sense of purpose. Fantastic. And it's such a big thing now. I keep hearing everyone talking about it. All the interviews today, in fact, have been around this kind of purpose and how do you engage your employees in that way. If business leaders are thinking about, like, I want to somehow enable the purpose of my business to do good mm -hmm. in this way, how can they start thinking about that and engaging their employees in that way? I think there's a few uh, fairly straightforward things you can do. The first really is to do a bit of an internal audit on exactly what purpose looks like at the moment and get a kind of a starting point. Right. I think it's really important to engage with your employees in a way that will help liberate them and free them up to think about the things that they're concerned about. Certainly in terms of homelessness, people are unhappy about what they see on the way to work. They're unhappy about what they see when they go out at lunchtime. They're unhappy about what they see on the way home. So being able to bring in some of that social purpose into the workplace is actually something that's already in people's minds. Fantastic. So the idea of how to kind of harness that is a really important part for employee um, for, for the sort of HR development uh, team and space to think mm. about. The other is just looking at some of the real basics. So for example, in homelessness, it's really important to look at whether or not you've got employees on zero hours contracts. It's right. very important to look at whether you've got people who are earning below the living wage because yeah scarily now in work homelessness is on the increase so whilst people think oh right. it's about those people outside it could well be touching the lives of your employees so the other thing I would really recommend that organizations do when they do that audit is look at the things that contribute towards homelessness and make sure they're not doing it themselves wow I mean I, I had no idea about that that's mm. staggering yeah in fact but um so the responsibility here is this leaders business leaders need to take on this responsibility or, yeah. or, or is it more reciprocal is there more that everyone can do in the business um, I think it needs to be led from the top because it needs to be taken seriously and I've had experiences of organizations that do that incredibly well and organizations that feel that it's tokenistic for those organizations mm. that do it very well though they don't see it directly as CSR, they see it about mission and purpose turning into uh, recruitment and retention, yeah. that people are choosing, young people in particular are choosing businesses with a more wide socially responsible footprint, okay you may be a mainstream lawyer but you also know that and you're earning a lot of money but you also want to make sure that the organisation you're working in is doing good and paying that back and has a pro bono scheme and what have you. So, so I think it's important to lift it out of the sort of CSR space and see it as something as much broader and actually a way in which it might be attracting talent to your organisation. Of course. So uh, lastly, Stephen, for those people watching who, who do want to start making this change, it's on their mind and they're inspired by what you're saying. Yeah. What could be one top tip of yours, maybe one starting point that they can start to think about now to start that moving straight away? That's a really, I mean, that is a really tough question. And mm. I think that the, Sorry, the most, that's you. okay, but <laughs> I think the most important bit is to actually give yourself some time as a management team to discuss that, not have it on the bottom of an agenda or 20 minutes at the end of another meeting that somebody from HR tells you about what mission and purpose is. Right. It's something that you get the senior management team to actively engage in and maybe get a facilitator in to think about that as well so that it's um, it's something that you're thinking about together and by sort of giving a person the responsibility for it in the way you might give somebody responsibility for facilities, mm. you're actually sidestepping the point and therefore all senior managers need to be engaged with that and I would think that that session is a good couple of hours of really teasing it out and making some commitments about what you will or will not do. Fantastic, Stephen. I can't wait for the session. Thank really you. Really Thank you so much for joining us. Absolute pleasure. Life. I really appreciate Thank it. You. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. Stay tuned for more interviews very soon.